And we're joined by Zach Eady and Trey Kaufman Wren. And please raise your hand. We'll get a question to you right here. Pat. Uh, Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated for Trey. Silver Creek Dragon got a question for you here. Uh, you're a big guy, but what is it like in practice and in drills when you're trying to move Zach? Um, it doesn't work. You can't. Um, for the short answer, uh, you got to play differently. So, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty big guy, and but when you're going up against him every day, you you don't feel that way. So, it's kind of funny when you when you go and play other teams like. Sometimes I have to realize, you know, you are stronger than the other than the other guys. But when you just face him all the time, it's it's difficult. Right here, Zach, Zach Oster, Minneapolis Star. Trey, you talked about this a little bit last night. Just sort of settling into that game, obviously having a really good second half. What in an environment like that does settle you down, settle you in, just kind of get your comfort when it's a neutral site? It's obviously a big atmosphere, things like that. I think just playing. Um, Nothing special, to be honest. It's just going out there and playing and um, knowing you've done it before. Everything that you're doing in the game, you've worked on like, countless of times, and um, your teammates encouraging you. Questions, please? Right here. Uh, Justin Haber, Show Sports Capital Journalism. Zach, this is a question for you. Um, you beat up on a team at Grambling State that really didn't have much height to compete against you. Now you're going to play a team in Utah State that has a little bit more height. Um, is there a different approach mentally, mentally, or you know, in any other way, game plan wise, that you know you have to change your approach a little bit? Um, not not particularly. Um, I think I kind of attack most people the kind of the same way. Um, I've gone against size plenty of times in my career. Uh, we have Will Berg on our team at seven foot. I practice against him every single day in practice. Um, so it's not like I haven't seen size before. Um, I kind of know how to deal with it and how to attack it. But the game plan kind of stays the same. Questions, please? Right here. So for Zach, this is Jason Walker with CashFlayDaily.com. Um, with uh, Isaac Johnson on Utah State, obviously they're going to probably try and stretch the floor uh, with you potentially guarding them. How have you guys approached teams when they try and stretch the floor and maybe try and draw you out of the paint? Uh, well, without getting like too specific into it, um, like, with, like I said, we've dealt with like a bunch of different styles all year. Um, we've dealt with the shooting five, we've dealt with the post up five, we've dealt with the rebounding like um, opposite dunker five, like every single style we've played against. Um, so we're ready for everything. Yep. Yeah, Zach, Ben Baby with ESPN. As you're kind of going through the tournament and also kind of getting prepping for, for life after college and what that might look like, how was, the, how was that been as you kind of maybe see how your game might translate to the next level and as you went through the back half of the season or even any time this season? Are there things that you might have done as you start to get ready for transition to the pros? Well, my main goal all year has just been to help Purdue. Um, it's never been to try to like become an a NBA like player right now. Like, I think there's time for that. I think um, – I have plenty. I have plenty, like plenty of basketball left in my career um, to get to there. Right now, I'm focused on Purdue. I'm focused on winning championships, and I'm focused on winning basketball games with my teammates. Um, I took some things in the off season, obviously, um, that proved would help my draft stock and help Purdue, like like guarding in space, guarding a ball screen, getting quicker on my feet, um, playing out of the pick and roll more, uh, setting better screens, like stuff that will help Purdue and in my NBA. But I'm I'm really I'm focused on Purdue right now. Questions. Right here. Yeah, this is a question for both Zach and Trey. Um, what are some things that Utah State, you guys, you think does really well, and what are some things that you think you can exploit from Utah State? Let's start with you, Trey. Um, I mean, they're just a really good team. Um, you know, the you know the big guy that they have, he's a really really good player. Um, we we had a player that when I first came here, Trey Brown Williams, that you know, coach said you kind of reminded us of. Um, but yeah, so you know, obviously sending help to him, um, and then the people that they have around him are also really good players, really experienced, and uh, it's gonna be a tough matchup. Zach, yeah, uh, they're a good team. Obviously, um, they kind of play that five-out style. Uh, they try to um, spread you with their their five men that can shoot and um, Osabor that can put the ball on the floor and make some plays like that. Um, obviously, we kind of have some things in, in place to to try to prevent the way that want they want to play. Questions? If there are no 
further questions, we'll just, okay. Yeah, uh, Trey, when you guys broke down the tape and kind of looked at the opponent for tomorrow, what kind of what, what jumps out for you and what are some things that made they do well? Right. Um, no, I mean, just like we said, um, you know, they, they're <laughs> really good in their sets. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Did you see that question? Yeah, sorry. Mints. No, we're good. Yeah. I mean, really good players, really good team. I don't want to go too much into that. Zach? Zach Ostrom, Indianapolis Star. Zach, uh, it feels like we always ask your teammates this question, but asking you about Trey and, and just how he's developed, and you will spend a lot of time working against him in practice, working with him in practice. How have you seen his growth in, in the last couple of years? What maybe has kind of marked out the steps he's taken? Yeah, um, he's taking big steps and big, like, I still think he has a lot of room to grow, but he, the player he is now is he's really good. Um, you know, his footwork in the post, the way he's kind of be able to stretch the floor a little bit. Um, there's just still like so much room for growth in his game, and he's already such a good player. I think that, that's a really scary thought. Questions, please? All right, guys, we'll let you go. Thanks. Thank you.